In tonight's top story, a murder at a Waco apartment complex leads to a standoff and an officer involved shooting. All happened today. Now nine Waco police officers are on leave. Six News reporter Bailey Bates joins us live from the Rex Plex apartments where this all went down in Waco. Bailey, fill us in. Wake up police and the Texas Rangers still have no idea what initially caused the initial shooting. The 911 call that came in said a man was shot by a shotgun. The suspected weapon was in, found inside a unit at the apartment complex uh, at the after the police shot the suspected shooter. Uh, this is a very, very tragic situation for two families. Waco police and the Texas Rangers are investigating multiple fatal shootings. Tuesday morning started with a 911 call about a shooting at the Rex Plex apartment complex in Waco. The suspected shooter was inside an apartment with a weapon, but came out while SWAT was setting up. We have nine officers that discharged the weapon as a result of the suspect coming out of his apartment with a weapon and demonstrating that he was a threat because he had already shot someone. With nine officers firing their weapons, the suspect was hit and died from his injuries. But Chief Cheryl Victorian says it's unclear how many shots were fired. Well, anytime uh, there are multiple rounds fired by our police officers, one happens to go into a window or a door, we want to immediately get into that location to determine if anyone had been injured. That's where Damon Stroud's apartment comes into play. Police knocked down his door to see if anyone was hit by a stray bullet. Luckily, me and my kids wasn't at home. I didn't have no major issues. Good thing I wasn't there because ain't no telling what would happen if I would have been at home. Stroud tells 6 News he lives in the unit next to the suspect. He's never had any issues before. Been here three years, never had no really no big problems or nothing like that. I'm real shocked about what happened. Thankful and lucky to share his story and hopes to move on with little to no damage other than his door. It kind of made me nervous and scared a little bit, but you know. As long as they got the suspect, everything's taken care of. I mean, I feel like it's going to be. Both the victim and the suspect from the initial shooting are dead. The nine officers who discharged their weapons are on administrative leave as the, that is standard protocol as the Texas Rangers investigate this shooting. This is a developing story. Stick with 6 News for the absolute latest. Live in Waco, Bailey Bates, 6 News. All right, Bailey, right off of Highway 6 there. Yeah, okay. Thanks, Bailey.